If I paid a hundred pounds for a bookend, you would think I'm a big Harry Potter fan. But nope, I absolutely hate Harry Potter. Hello there, welcome to the prop shop where I check out the latest and greatest props out there. On this week's prop shop, we check out the Noble Collection Harry Potter bookend. Let's go take a look. Now, of course you're asking, why did I spend so much money on something Harry Potter related? In fact, I actually hate Harry Potter. But the coolest thing is that this thing is a great gift for all those great Harry Potter fans out there. So straight out of the box, of course, this is your Hogwarts Express. And it comes out one end through the other. Unfortunately, I don't read any books, so I don't have any books on me, but I do have some portfolios. Now that is actually pretty cool. Just like magic, it goes through one end and out the other. The same can be said for my Taco Bell burritos. But anyways, this thing is built to last and it's nice and sturdy. Now for those who haven't been to England or been an avid collector of props, the Noble Collection is something of the higher end. Based out of England, they take a lot of props to the next level and they aren't only Harry Potter, they also have Lord of the Rings as well as DC. And while I wasn't nerdy enough to buy a wand, don't judge me for my lightsabers, this thing is something that I believe everybody can use. For starters, this thing is very hefty and it's very well crafted starting from the velvet as well as the plastic construction. It's not just any plastic, it's solid resin with a nice metal finish. From the number to the paint job, everything here is nicely detailed with great construction and sturdiness. Not to mention this also fits in a carry-on suitcase, which is how I was able to bring it back. But is it really worth $100? Of course not. For starters, made in China. So much for the British loyalty, but it is licensed, so I guess that's why it's expensive. And who knows, maybe AliExpress could have made something for half the price. But the fact that it is the Noble Collection, when you say that to somebody, that actually means something. Not that that would actually mean something to someone who's not a nerd, but just saying the word Noble feels like it's classier than ever. There's actually a camber to the end of the bookend to make sure the books stay nice and sturdy. And contrary to my other video where I did the Pokemon book end, I think this one is actually more well built. So even as a non-Harry Potter fan, I wouldn't mind having this in my house. But for a real Harry Potter fan, this will take it to the next level. So, are you heading to England anytime soon with 100 pounds to spare? If so, and you got that special person in your life that you want to give something to, this might really be on that list. But in the end, that's just my opinion. What do you think? Leave a comment below. And if you excuse me, I gotta find some books and take this thing out for a spin.